We are going to call today's show Shotgun Shells Perfected. Guys, look, it is another brutal day here in Jersey, man. The wind is kicking up. It's got to be probably about maybe 15 degrees wind chill. But look what I got for you today, man. I've been thinking about this. I'm going to take those shotgun shells again and also combine it with another recipe of mine and also switch up a little bit on the shotgun shells that are gonna make them better, man. This is gonna be shotgun shells part two. This is gonna be one you're definitely gonna to wanna to stay tuned for and you are definitely gonna to wanna to make. Oh yeah. Guys, reminder, the weekend wind down barbecue chat slash giveaway has moved to the Gallery Backyard Barbecue live as well as Facebook. I got all information under show notes in the description. Check it out. Oh, yeah. So look, first off with the uh, recipe, the first thing you're going to want to do is blanch off your pasta. Now, if you're not sure how to blanch, I'll have information on that under show notes in the description. Also, get yourself about a half a cup to a cup of rice, depending on how many uh, poundage of the uh, beef you're going to use, and get that cooked off 75%. And look, there is our ingredients of this uh, recipe today. We got some Velveeta original bacon, some ground beef, pepper, and onion. Guys, prep is simple. You want a nice fine dice on the uh, peppers and onions. For this recipe, I used about a half an onion and I'm going to use about a quarter each of the green and red pepper. Again, adjust your amounts as per how much beef. I have about a pound of beef. So look, in a nice size bowl, you're going to combine your peppers and onions. You're going to get the uh, rice in there. Also add to that your 80-20 ground beef. Again, show notes has everything. Check it in the description. I know it's got to be. Look, this Velveeta cheese, man, this is key, man. This is the stuff I use in my stuffed peppers, and, 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 and it's, it's magical. It's going to be magical in this dish, I guarantee it. So get yourself some Velveeta original and just kind of dice it up like that. As you can see, I am going through a uh, about a three quarters of a uh, stick there. Here you go. Oh. So look, here is the uh, blanched off uh, macaroni. You can see it's a uh, soft to the touch. It's probably about 50% cooked or so. And that is gonna make for easy stuffing and also you're not gonna get that brittle stiff ends you would get if you just did these uh, without blanching. look at that point here man if you got a little splitting on the macaronis it's not a big deal because you're gonna wrap that up with bacon anyway guys I am doing one slice per I think that is a uh, perfect amount So look, as we're finishing up our uh, manicotti shells, it is time to turn our attention over to the pit. Yeah. Yeah.
All right, guys, look, man, so the prep's not really that bad. Uh, same deal as the other. I think with the uh, little more pliable, right, because the, uh, the shells were blanched off, so they were a little bit more soft to get the, uh, to get the merchandise in for say. They did a little splitting, uh, not a big deal. Um, let's get it on the pit, 250 when the bacon is done, these are done. I will be basting with that cherry barbecue sauce by PS Seasoning. That stuff is just uh, yeah, pretty amazing, man, pretty amazing. Let's get these on, let them go. I'll bring you back in about 15, 20 minutes. We're looking at about an hour and a half or so. Oh. I am asked all the time about those grates, so there is the web page. I'll also have the uh, page uh, under show notes in the description. That's my uh, buddy uh, Luke. You tell him the Gallery Backyard Barbecue sent you. All right, guys, man, we are about an hour and 20 minutes in. The bacon is just starting to get to that point where I want to uh, start basting it with that cherry barbecue sauce. But let's go in together. Let's take a look and let's go to the next step. So, you know, the, the, uh, the, 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 the pasta is nice and soft, nice and pliable. You know, I think that's a uh, product of uh, blanching it off in the house. So I think that is key. We got some good cheese oozing. I like that. Also, that cheese is just kind of setting up there and just kind of browning on the tin foil. The tin foil was the right call. I was a little concerned because I didn't want the, uh, you know, the bacon with the grease. But I think that cheese, again, is just going to kind of sit there and lump up, man. That is a, a good call. We're going to go another... About another two minutes. I got the pit turned up to about 400 now. About another two, three minutes. A little bit more crispiness on that bacon. And then I'm going to start basting. All right, guys, look, man, we are clocking in about an hour and 45 minutes. It is definitely done. Let me get them off the pit. Let me get them on the board. A couple snaps. We'll bring you back for that taste test. All right, guys, look, man, I'm not sure if I'm going to get that money shot uh, that I wanted with the cheese. The kind of cheese kind of oozed out, but not that bad. Um, it's brutal, man, out here. I'm just going to go in, take a quick slice, quick taste test, and close this bad boy out. I'll tell you one thing, the uh, macaronis, like I said before, are nice and soft. So you could see the uh, you could see the cheese in there. Not quite the uh, not bad man not bad at all and cheers so guys look right off the bat man this is uh where the other cook maybe was about a seven and a half eight again a little crunchy on the ends and not so much cheese in the middle this is about a nine and a half man this is the way to go you could pick up the uh cheese down velveta cheese is key uh, you got a nice flavor with the beef, with the rice. I know we're mixing two starches. My mother's upstairs yelling at me right now. No big deal. But uh, it's just there, man, with the bacon. That cherry sauce is key. I mean, you could see the... Uh... 
that is cheese right there, man. <laughs> so it didn't ooze out. But the cheese is, uh, the cheese is all over this, man. I am going to close this one out. I am going to roll my Patreons and YouTube join and members. Big part of the show, man. I appreciate those guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. And until next time, we will see you soon.